Hi guys, welcome to Chuck's Corner. We have an awesome video for you today known as Animal Magic. You know, you've heard of animal magnetism, right? <laughs> this is animal magic. We magicians have used animals throughout the years. Well, we have kittens on this one, but there's also rabbits and so forth. But here we have turtles, but be gone, okay? We'll play with you a little later on. Let me get a quick drink of Sherry's coffee. All right. Mmm, it's the best stuff. West of the Pecos, wherever that is. All right, <laughs> we'll put this up here. The first thing that I'm going to use, you don't have to use live animals. You can use inanimate ones that appear to be alive. Here, let me show you. I have a top hat here with a scarf hanging on. And if you just blow on it, look at this. Whoa, the scarf goes inside. I think that my little friend ate the scarf. Look at this. Whoa, oh, come on. His name is Rocky. Isn't he cute? Rocky the raccoon. Oh, look, munja, munja, munja. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Rocky. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. You know what? He does impersonations. Check it out. Abe Lincoln, Tom Selleck, Brooke Shields, Madonna. <laughs> hey, that's an Italian joke. I got to watch it. Well, you know what? We're going to put him under a deep hypnotic trance. He's under. All right. <laughs> you behave yourself. Let's look inside the hat. That was a green scarf. Here we have a green Mylar ball. There's another one. There's another one. Wow. Will the wonders never cease? Again, that's something that I've used throughout the years in my shows. All right. This is kind of neat. What I have here is a really cool looking box. And I have a slate. I'm going to remove the chalk slate and get a piece of chalk. Now, I'm not much of an artist, but I did go to art school briefly when I was a kid. I could draw cartoons and things of that nature. Uh, it's not the best. It's not the worst. Here we have a bunny. Isn't he cute? Hop, 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 hop. All right. <laughs> We're going to put the drawing down inside like so. And I'm going to show you from the front. You can see all the way back. All I have to do, close the lid, say the magic words. Zim, zella, bim. Take it. Oh, look at this. Direct from Hollywood, California. Your friend and mine. Look at this. Rabbit Redford. Come on all the way out. Isn't he cute? Oh, uh, he's a good bunny rabbit. He just turned one year old. Very smart bunny rabbit. I seen him doing trigonometry the other day. <laughs> My wife actually litter trained him. That's the honest to goodness truth. He's a very smart bunny. We're going to put him in his little case right now. You behave yourself. There you go. Sorry if I'm stepping out of camera for a second. Some bunny loves you. All right, we're going to take this box off here. And I'm going to show you something a little bit different right now. All right, I think my table's wobbly here. But what I'm going to do is show you another box. This is kind of cool, as we could show you that it really is an empty box. We could disassemble it right in front of you. And when I put it back together, once again, all I have to say is, Zim Zella Bim, look at this. There's another good friend of mine, direct from Hollywood, California as well. Walter, Walter Pigeon. <laughs> These jokes are pretty bad, I know. I gotta come up with new ones. We're gonna take a chance and put them on my finger. Just in case he does fly away, he's in search of a better show. <laughs> We're gonna put Walter here for a second. Now don't get excited, Walter, huh? Here's a little hammock he likes to he likes to hang hang around in. We're gonna place him inside the hammock, like so. All right, you behave yourself, Walter. Make yourself nice and comfortable. Here we go, the magic word, Zim Zella Bim. Ho, oh, he changes to a scarf. Can you see that? Once again, thanks for stopping by. If you're a magician, use some kind of an animal. It could be an inanimate object. It could be a live one, whatever you want. Thanks, guys.